In this video, we're going to introduce the definitions of length and distance in an inner product space, and then we'll use those definitions to compute the length of a vector in an inner product space and the distance between two vectors. So first of all, the definitions. So suppose we've got two vectors, u and v, in an inner product space, capital V. So what that means is capital V is any vector space. It could be an abstract vector space. And it comes equipped with a function that, that assigns to any pair of vectors some real number that satisfies those four properties that an inner product has to have. So we call V an inner product space if it comes with one of those functions. So if we have two vectors in an inner product space V, then um, we're going to define the length of a vector and the distance between two vectors using the inner product. So length is also sometimes called the norm of a vector or the magnitude of a vector. So it's defined to be, so the length or the magnitude of the vector u is defined to be the square root of the inner product of u with itself. Now remember, the inner product of a vector with itself is always non-negative. So this taking the square root makes sense. It's always going to be defined. Um, the distance between the two vectors u and v is defined to be the norm or the magnitude of the vector that you get when you subtract u minus v. Okay, so the distance relies on the norm and the norm is defined as the square root of the inner product of the vector with itself. So let's see how these work. Let's do a couple of examples. The first example is number three on that worksheet that we started in class. It says use the inner product in example one to find the length of the function f of x equals e to the x in the inner product space of all functions continuous on the closed interval from 0 to 1. So remember how we defined the inner product on that uh, inner product space. The inner product of two functions, f and g, is defined to be the definite integral from 0 to 1 of f of x times g of x times dx. So we're going to use that along with the definition of um, the length of a vector in an inner product space. So the length of the vector e to the x, or the magnitude of e to the x, by definition, is the square root of the inner product of e to the x with itself. Well, the inner product is defined to be the definite integral from 0 to 1 of e to the x squared dx. All right, so now we have to compute a definite integral. So um, e to the x squared is just e to the 2x. And now I can do a quick u substitution. So let u be 2x. Then du is 2 times dx. Solving that for dx, I get 1 half du is equal to dx. So I'm going to make a substitution. I'm going to replace 2x with u, and I'm going to replace dx with 1 half du. But remember, we also have to replace the limits of integration. So when x is 0, u is 2 times 0, so it's just 0. When x is 1, u is going to be 2 times 1, or just 2. So now we can do the substitution. So we're going to compute the square root of the definite integral from 0 to 2 of e to the u times 1 half du. Now that 1 half can be pulled out of that definite integral. And so then um, we just need to compute the definite integral from 0 to 2 of e to the u du. And so we get the square root of 1 half 
times. Now the antiderivative of e to the u is just e to the u, but we have to evaluate it from 0 to 2. So let's do that. So we're going to get the square root of 1 half times e squared minus e to the 0. And that's just the square root of 1 half times e squared minus 1. So that is the magnitude of the function e to the x in the inner product space of all continuous functions on the closed interval from 0 to 1 with this um, very concrete and very common inner product, which is the definite integral. All right, let's look at another example. So part B says, use the inner product in example 1 to find the distance between the two functions f of x equals 1 and g of x equals x. So it's the same inner product we're going to use, that definite integral from 0 to 1 of uh, the product of the two functions. So the distance between the functions 1 and x is defined to be the norm or the magnitude of the vector we get when we subtract them. So the vector 1 minus x. And the norm of the vector 1 minus x, by definition, is the square root of the inner product of the vector 1 minus x with itself. And the inner product is going to be the definite integral from 0 to 1 of 1 minus x squared dx. And so I could square this thing out to evaluate the integral, or I could do another u substitution. So I'm going to do a u substitution. So let's let u be 1 minus x. Then du is negative dx. So solving that for dx, I get negative du is equal to dx. And now before doing all the substitution, I need to change my limits of integration. So when x is 0, u is 1 minus 0 which is 1, and when x is 1, the upper limit, uh, u is 1 minus 1, so it's 0. So now doing all the substitution, I get the square root of the definite integral from 1 to 0 of u squared times negative du. And remember from calculus, um, if you want to swap the order of the integration, swap the limits of integration, um, you can just throw a minus sign in front of the definite integral. But we already have a minus sign inside the definite integral, so we can rewrite the definite integral as the integral from 0 to 1 of u squared du. No minus sign at all. And so now uh, the antiderivative of u squared is 1 third times u cubed, and we have to evaluate that from 0 to 1. We're going to get the square root of 1 third. So that is the distance between the two functions f of x equals 1 and g of x equals x in the inner product space of functions continuous on the closed interval from 0 to 1 using the inner product defined as a definite integral from 0 to 1. All right, that's enough of uh, length and distance, and we'll see another example involving angles. And I'll see you there.